You know when you start a new collection of art and you're like, <laughs> this is what I've been called to do. That's how I feel about this new collection that I'm working on. So to start, I have this sketchbook and every single day for the last like six months, I've been going through and I've been drawing a portrait of how I feel. So this is like a really good example of like my classic work. I call these scribble ladies. It's basically just a portrait of a person. And for the better part of 2023, I started incorporating different elements into the painting. Favorite flowers, favorite plants. Now with my sketches, I'm taking it a step further and incorporating emotions because yes, body positivity is part of self-love. Yes, everything that you love that makes you unique and special and different, part of self-love. But you know what else is part of self-love? Emotions, loving your emotions the way your body feels things. Positive, negative, anxiety, fear, anger, passion, love, everything. So, enter my new era of scribble lady art. Now, these are small studies, and I'll be picking all of my favorites and turning them into big pieces. But here is an example. I don't know how you would describe this feeling, so if you have an idea of how you would describe it, put it in the comments. It's kind of that idea that like when everything is just going completely wrong, like shit has hit the fan, and you just go outside, and you just stand in the rain. Feeling of like hopelessness, but also like bliss at the same time. I'm making a bunch of these small canvas studies. And like I said, I'm gonna turn my favorites into bigger pieces. So then all of the bigger pieces I'll be unveiling at an event I'm throwing in April called the I fucking love myself event. This year's theme is emotions, duh, duh. We could have all seen that one coming from fucking mile away. I'll be unveiling all of my new pieces. The title of this piece is Proud. It's that feeling of being out. And obviously this is different for everyone. Actually, all of these emotions, everyone's gonna feel them differently. And I think that's part of the beauty of it. This collection that I'm doing is how I feel emotions, but like everyone feels them differently. Here's a new one I just started. When you're feeling creative, but like also super drained. But then I also have to figure out how to like work in the creativity. Also, it's so not centered. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that because <laughs> I'll show you one more. And this piece is titled The Anxious Creative. And it's kind of that feeling of like being restless and having all of these ideas like exploding out of you that you wanna create, but you can't. For example, I drew this sketch while I was sitting on a plane and I was like, oh, I just wish I was in my studio. This is that. So that's the concept. That's my new collection. That is the art of feeling. And like I mentioned, I'm turning them all into wearable wire sculptures too. I'll give you one sneak peek and then I'm gonna leave. This is what I used to film the, like the promo shoot for the I fucking love myself event. Let me raise this higher. That's basically taking one of my scribble lady heads and turning it into something you can wear on your head. And I have this little ball of anxiety hanging from it. Cause it's kind of like that feeling when like everything feels like mostly normal, but like not 100%. You still have that like little bit of like, it's like your head is like ah, ah, ah. wearable wire sculpture. We're out. My hair. And all my new works will be showcased at my event. Yeah, I fucking love myself. It's a party. It's kind of an exhibition, but it's more of like a celebration of like this new era of my art. Because I'm fucking excited about it. It's so fucking cool. I need to stop swearing because it's social media. It's so cool. Like I haven't been this hyped up about my art in a long time. Like I love my art. I've always loved my art. But this year, this collection, I know that it's gonna be super powerful for myself and I can only hope that it's gonna be just as powerful for everyone else. So if you wanna come to the event, the information is linked in my bio. Otherwise, if you're not local, stay following along for the journey because I'll be sharing everything along the way and this art doesn't end with the event. It continues on because this is now part of my story.